there, it's Nikki from Cosmos Games. Um, we thought it was about time we talked to you um, about some more of our exit games. Obviously we've had quite a lot of them around for quite a long time now. We've got about 36 or so uh, in the range. But we want to talk to you first of all about the novice games, which are aimed at around about 10 plus, take about one to two hours. Um, we've got a few of them in this series. So if I just run you through them quick and then we'll do you another video on the intermediates and then the advanced ones okay so first of all we have exit lord of the rings shadows over middle earth so middle earth is in danger frodo and the fellowship are going to carry out some of gandalf's secret assignments um and basically you have to solve the riddles and get frodo to mount doom on time so good fun one there if you've got a uh, lord of the rings fan in the house next we have the cursed labyrinth so you're on a historic castle tour and in the grounds of the big labyrinth um, as you enter into it, the sky darkens, the iron gate behind you clangs shut and you try and escape your way out of there. Uh, next one is one of my favourites. This is probably probably the easiest one we've got that's not like in the kids range. Um, so it's called the Enchanted Forest. You're going for a relaxing walk in the woods. You walk over a bridge and suddenly there are loads of fairy tale creatures and riddles to solve. Uh, it's, it's a nice easy one. I mean, it says 10 plus, but we always say game the kids take a couple of years off. So I would say eight plus probably for this one. Um, it's 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 a really good fun game. It's a good starter one to be fair. Uh, next we have the Stormy Flight. So you are um, crew on a on the Stormy Flight. It's an electrical storm. Knocks all your electrics out on your plane, and you have to try and solve all the problems in order to get your plane safely on the ground. Not one of my favourites, purely because I'm not keen on flying. Then we have one of our uh, one of the first ones that we did actually, the House of Riddles. This is a really early one. And it's a really good fun one. Uh, mysterious invitation from three detectives. You get to the house, it's all locked up. Uh, you go inside, everything shuts behind you and the detectives are missing. You don't know what's happened to them. Uh, yeah, it's one of the originals, one of the best ones, basically. Uh, another one of my favorites, the Haunted Roller Coaster. Nice and simple. You are going into a Haunted Roller Coaster. You get inside there, there's bloodthirsty screams and weird creatures and blood curdling howls. It's lots of fun. Uh, not just for Halloween, but it is particularly good for Halloween, obviously. Uh, the Sunken Treasure, it's kind of, it's not a two-parter, but it kind of it links into the next one. So you are going out underwater, searching for the legendary treasure of the Santa Maria, and you get trapped underwater, and you have to try and make your way out. Again, not keen on being underwater, but for some of you, I'm sure that'll be right up your alley. Uh, for this one, you are at the, at the Florence oh, Museum of Science and Technology, going to look at an exhibit about the Santa Maria which obviously someone has just rescued the treasure from. Um, and when you're in there, uh, you get locked in, as you imagine. I have to find your way out, but all sorts of strange things happen while you are in there. Um, our original came out just over five years ago, The Abandoned Cabin. We also now have the return to The Abandoned Cabin, which is the next one, which is a slightly harder one, so it's not in this series. Um, your car breaks down, you're in the woods, as you imagine. This one won the Kenish Builders Yard in 2017. Um, it says the door is locked, iron bars around the windows preventing you from escaping, you discover a book and a strange disc. So as I say, this is one of the first ones that we did, this is when you first got to know, got to meet like, the decoder and, and, and figure out how it all works, which is really cool. Okay, coming up this year, probably around about April time, uh, is the Magical Academy, which is another level 2, nice easy one, 10 plus, uh, should be good for families, kids, that kind of thing. So spells, elixirs, magical powers, you thought your studies at the academy couldn't get any more exciting. But when a gang of polterbolds, small pointy twist creatures from the netherworld shows up, chaos breaks out. Can you stop the creatures before they literally tear your school apart? Sounds like fun. So there we go. Those are what we have currently in the um, novice range for the exits. We've got quite a lot more in the intermediate and then we've got a few more that are in the in the really, really tricky ones. Uh, so we're doing another video on those, but I hope that's helpful for you. Uh, if you've got any questions, obviously come back to us, games at thamesandcosmos.co.uk um, or just drop us, drop us a message on DMs and we'd love to let you know more information about our exit ranges. Okay, have a fabulous day and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.